I drink protein shakes every day, but is this actually healthy? To answer this question, I have researched and found one scientific paper that analyzed 21 studies on this topic. And in this video, I want to go through this analysis. But if you want to watch only a specific part, you can do that because I have put timestamps in the description. And also, if you want to read the whole analyze by yourself, you can go and do that because I also have linked it in the description. These 21 studies that I have mentioned earlier were analyzed on the effects that the whey protein has on heart and the metabolic health. This was measured through common indicators like blood pressure, blood lipids and insulin resistance. What they have found is that whey protein has no significant effect on blood pressure. But for people below the age of 50, whey protein seemed to significantly reduce the amount of systolic blood pressure. To really understand what I have just said, you first have to understand that your blood pressure consists of two components, of two blood pressures. The first that I've already mentioned, the systolic blood pressure, which is the pressure that is in your arteries when your heart contracts, and the diastolic blood pressure, which is the pressure in your arteries when your heart rests between beats. This means when you're under the age of 50 and supplement whey protein, your systolic blood pressure gets better. With blood lipids, it's kind of the same because there was no real change after supplementing whey protein. Only if you were under the age of 50 and you exercised, then your LDL cholesterol was reduced significantly. You may wonder now, what's the LDL cholesterol? This is basically the bad cholesterol that blocks your arteries. There's also the RDL cholesterol, which is the good cholesterol that cleans your system from these LDL cholesterols. But for you, this means if you're under the age of 50 and exercise and supplement whey protein, your arteries are not that blocked, basically. I also want to add, total cholesterol wasn't affected. Also, triglyceride wasn't affected as well. Triglyceride is the peptide that your body uses to store and use fat. There was also no effect on insulin resistance. So what does this mean for you? Well, the results indicate that if you're under the age of 50 and exercise, whey protein can have a positive effect on your heart and metabolic health. So does it mean you have to drink a protein shake every day like I do it? No, probably you don't have to. Unless you don't hit your protein goal of two grams of protein per kilogram of body weight, then you maybe should consider drinking it every day else it would probably be enough if you drink it from time to time. And since nobody wants to suffer from a heart attack or a stroke, it's good to know that you can do something to prevent it that's so easy, like implementing whey in your life. And as the study suggests, the real benefits come when you do it before you're at the age of 50, basically before the age in which strokes and heart disease happened. For me, it's clear I'm going to keep on drinking protein shakes, but I would love to know what you're going to do with this information. If you want to see more of this type of content, go ahead and follow me so you don't miss any new video. And if you want to know more reasons why I drink protein shakes every day, I made a complete video about it, so go ahead and watch it. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate a like and it would help me a lot. All right, thank you for watching. And remember, fixing is always harder than preventing. Goodbye.